What if the front and rear tyres in F1 were swapped? So F1 then runs asymmetric tyres. The front tyres are thinner than the rear tyres in terms of the width of the tyre. Um, that's obviously to give better traction with these new modern high torque hybrid engines. And I've always wondered what would happen if, if you swap the round, if you put the rear tyres on the front and the front tyres on the rear. So we're going to have thicker front tyres, wider front, front tyres than we've got rear tyres. So I'm imagining a lot of wheel spin, a lot of oversteer. Um, I haven't actually changed anything else. All I've changed is the tyres. That means the same brakes and the same suspension setup. Everything's exactly the same apart from the tyres, uh, which obviously you'd set up the car a bit differently with this in mind. But um, I just wanted to isolate it's just the tyres. So let's get started straight away then with our first lap in qualifying. So here we go then. My very first lap with the front tyres on the rear and the rear tyres on the front using the racing point to try and emulate uh, or try and make up for Sergio Perez's loss of a podium at the Bahrain Grand Prix. And actually, at the moment, it feels... Whoa, I've got to say it feels all right. Then got a bit of oversteer. Whoa, there it is. That's what we came here for. <laughs> My word. Oh, okay. Right. The first turn apparently is okay. After that, less okay. And we're using the Bahrain short circuit because uh, we'll see how long this this uh, this race is going to be. It's only a five lap. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, I thought we were going to spin then. Don't know how we didn't spin, to be honest. I've got no idea how the AI are going to cope with this. They are, they are. Oh. <laughs> okay, then. That corner is absolutely lethal. I suspect the AI are going to be considerably better at us than this because the higher speed stuff, we're not going to be able to catch it. But they, they are traction control. This is just going to be a race of trying not to drop it the whole time, I think. Let's see how the AI do once we get into the race because I'm pretty sure in quali they're not quite actually sort of doing the event oh no oh god it's just drift oh my god drifted it through more front grip compared to rear grip wait we're not we're not we're not last we're not last stop oh <laughs> we're gonna wait till we get last and then we're gonna get into the race just before we get into the race, I'm here to ask you to please subscribe if you do enjoy this video. We've just bought a Fanatec wheel. We're starting to really take this channel seriously, but it does rely on your continued support and you can do that by pressing the glowing red button down below. Subscribe if you do enjoy this channel. Let's get back to it. Okay, here we go then on the grid for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton's actually last. But interestingly, our teammate Lance Stroll put it in P2 just eight thousandths back from the uh, from the pole sitter. Going to have to be a bit more cautious on the power on the start. Less rear grip, of course. Using all the beans I've got now, though. Up to Rich. Got Lewis Hamilton. I don't know why Lewis Hamilton's at the back. Okay, let's see if we can go on the outside of a few into the first turn. Nowhere to go on there. Kevin Magnussen absolutely diving up the inside. And let's see what we can do from here. Going to be very cautious. That's why. Going to go the inside here. Let's get the uh, Kvyat, the Kvyat, I'm going to say the Alpha Tori of Daniel Kvyat, but that'll do. Good enough exit, I think. No, not good enough. Daniel Kvyat is quick. Let's see if we can go on the outside of him, but we know it's not going to be easy because we've got no rear grip. Oh, so cautiously turning it. Oh, hello. Drifting around the outside of Sebastian Vettel. <laughs> Let's keep it up, see how far we go. Oh, this is a dangerous corner. I'm being so careful with my steering inputs. Our oh, teammate Lance Stroll. From P2 on the grid is now out of this race, or at least on the outside, out of the win contention of this race. There's a Mercedes out in front, absolutely dominating. But uh, we'll ignore that for now because we've got a big pack ahead of us and I suspect we'll catch them quite quickly if we can keep it on the track. Oh my god. I tell you what, I'm still using the Logitech GE29 for now, but I've got a Fanatec on order. And I'm going to retry this at some point with my Fanatec, maybe even on stream for Christmas or something, because this will feel so much different in a Fanatec. All these oversteer moments will feel huge, right? It's not too bad at slower speed, which is odd. I thought it would be the other way around. Slower speed, it's fine. And we have now caught up to the guys. Whoa, I said slower speed, it's fine. It is not fine at slower speed. <laughs> let's, have a, let's have a little flashback, because I want to try, try and stick with these guys if I can. Oh, I'm spray I myself there. Okay, so what do I do? Just be cautious. Whoa, I just got overconfident, I think. Daniel Ricciardo is right behind us. I'm sure we can catch these cars in just a couple of laps. They're bound to have some issues, particularly through these next couple of corners. So are we, though? Oh, my God. Come back, come back. We're back. Oh, Daniel Ricciardo's going to go for it. Oh, my. Oh, he spun. Everybody spun. We've spun as well in sympathy. Every, Literally everybody spun. Look at that. <laughs> What is <laughs> what is going on here? Come on, lads. Let's sort it out. Through we go. Doopy-doo. 
Right, let's have a little race with uh, with the guys ahead. See if we can catch them now. There's bound to be more big spins. We'll see. <laughs> Every single car <laughs> just had a spin through there. That's weird that that didn't happen on the first lap. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's a genuine challenge just to get round our lap with this. <laughs> yeah, gas is all over us. In fact, we need to stop using our ERS. We haven't got much of it left. DRS as well. That's going to help him, of course, but not for now. We're not enabled just yet. See if we can outbreak him. No, he's outbreaked us. Can we get it slowed down? We can. Nicely. That was nice. Whoa, he's going on our outside. Brave. Oh. I think with a bit of practice, you could get used to this, you know. It's not as undrivable as it could be, in all honesty. I mean, it's not great, don't get me wrong, but I honestly thought it would be, like, undrivable. It's not like that. You, you can catch it. you just got to be so smooth with your input. So here, oh, so smooth. And as soon as you're not smooth, that's when you lose it. And there we go. These guys have lost it. Alex Albon hasn't. Hold on, I was going to back off. Lewis Hamilton drifted through it. Whoa, drifted through the corner. Okay, I was going to back off and wait for them, but now we're not, because these guys are on it. We're going to get after them. Of course, the guys with the higher downforce, Red Bull, Mercedes, got a bit of advantage with this. Oh, drifting just like Valtteri Bottas ahead of us. So let's see if we can stick with him now. I said the higher downforce cars have got an advantage, but Giovinazzi up into, uh, well, what is now P P6. It was P5 just a moment ago. Can we dive bomb Bottas? We're going to try it. Oh, that's a weird entry to a corner. I induced understeer on purpose so we didn't get oversteer. It's, it's kind of like there. You, if you can kind of get the right angle, you can sort of drift it through the corner a little bit. Has he got DRS? He has got DRS. I don't want to use overtake here, though, if I can help it. I think we're just going to be okay. I've gone deep, though. No, I haven't. Oh, again, just drifting it through. Are these guys ahead going to spin through this section they are indeed we just got hit by Valtteri Bottas had to avoid Lewis Hamilton they're through it clean again whoa Vettel isn't oh get out of the way Vettel we're in the gravel right can we catch Valtteri Bottas ahead Alex Albon actually managed to get through clean right I want to try and catch Bottas we are on the podium but maybe even Albon if Albon has a spin if we can get through the next lap cleanly but let's just try and get the next through the next through the next lap nice and clean to see what sort of lap time we can put in Albon's done a 102 which is several seconds quicker than us. But we have to take big avoid in action. Right, come on. Let's do it. Let's see what we can do. I want, uh, I want to try and get a purple if I can. Get all slowed down nicely. You don't actually have to be that careful on the throttle. It's a bit more careful than normal, but not much normal. It's it's through the corners when the car just wants to slide. You just got a little bit less, less traction, but it doesn't make a massive difference. I will say I've got the tyre carcass... Uh, temperature simulation off because I didn't want you know I was inevitably going to overheat the rears I didn't want that to affect this race too much but the surface temperatures are still on right again just be very cautious with the inputs they both spun they both spun we come through we can keep it on the track run for the win very cautious very cautious they're still recovering actually one more corner to go can we take the purple as well I suspect probably not to be honest Albon was pretty quick that was nice, though. We can be quite consistent. We've found some consistency somehow. What is that lap time going to be? It's not going to be a 102. 103. Only a second off. And I always say that AI are traction control. Um, they, they are a computer, so they are themselves traction control. So they're always going to be quite good at those sort of modes. But clearly, you know, <laughs> these sort of variable changes that I throw at them, they can't always handle it, um, which clearly they're through the high speed turns. They were just taking it too quick. And I, I believe what happened was that when there was a yellow flag, they would, they would back off very slightly, um, which is what enabled the cars behind to get through a bit cleaner. Um, although there was there was some serious carnage throughout that race. But there we go. We managed to get some serious revenge for Sergio Perez. Getting a podium, no less. Not getting a podium. Getting a win and a podium. Double whammy. But anyway, guys, there it is. That's some justice for Sergio Perez after cruelly missing out on that podium in the Bahrain Grand Prix. We've got a win for him today. Hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I thank you for watching. Bye bye.